his buttocks makes contact with both of his heels when he hits that drop, fully compressing okay, and I'll adding to again. the speed and trajectory of the landing out of it. I will try again. Hang on, we're gonna watch the tape again we're one more time just okay. to see this, right. to see if we can right. replicate okay. exactly what we're looking at here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are my knees warmed up for this bottom out? Welcome back parkour nerds. Today we are gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be breaking down two clips from two pretty incredible and also pretty crazy parkour athletes. We're talking about Michael Kadori and Jared Ludi. Now the feat that they performed was actually first performed by Jared Ludi and then replicated by Michael Kadori, but in a much different way. And we're gonna try to determine who did it better or I guess who ate it less? <laughs> That's not how I think about it. I think about it as who had the strategy for less impact. Because they both did, they both did such a great job with like doing this like massive standing jump. So if you don't know what we're talking about, we're gonna play the clip here. But they're both taking a massive height drop jump that is a standing broad jump. And then they each have very different strategies for dealing with the impact. When Jared Ludi did the jump first, was this nominated for a store award? This was a Banger Award nominee, I believe. Banger? It was, a, it was Banger, yeah. So Banger for a drop, and then it got replicated shortly after when Kadori visited Texas? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the clips. <laughs> think handled that drop better? Who do I think handled the drop better? I mean, I know what you're going to say. What do you mean by handle? Because, because <laughs> if I, because if, you know, I, if I like who took, who took it more, I would say Kadori did. Kadori like, you know, took it all in his legs and plyoed forward out of it and then took another drop to concrete that uh, actually Jared did not take. Who took less impact? My argument is that Jared used the technique that allowed him to take probably a little bit less impact. A little bit less. I mean, this is all just, you know, hearsay. We don't, we don't really know if that air, I think we were calling it an air roll because when we first talked about this, we were actually filming a roll explanation video and I was asking you if you jump to something like, like what I'm sitting on right here. If I was coming down and I landed here, I could just, you know, do that. Or I could, you know, take the drop and plyo forward. But sometimes we roll and I was curious with your opinion was if it was for style or not, because I think it feels all the same to me. Like if I'm moving forward, I'm moving forward, whether it's a hop or a calm down. That's, I mean, that's, okay, I don't so sound very sure of myself, we, okay. Tom, but I'm, but I'm very sure right, of myself. Right, let, right, let, right. Me, so, let me tell so you. So Jared, so Jared said in his post, I believe that he, you, he, that's what got him to be able to do it, was that he had a method for getting out of it that was gonna be, that he was comfortable committing to and he was going to be able to, um, you know, somehow reduce the impact upon landing. So he came up with a solution that was going to work for him. And that's actually what got him comfortable committing to the challenge. Right. So, um, the fact that he had a method for getting out of it. Now he doesn't have enough space on the wall to do a Kong out or like a gallop or anything like that. And he doesn't have enough space to roll either. So he kind of did a, it's essentially a Kong front, right? So we, it's, but, but it's, it's almost it's like a touch. It's like, I think air roll. I think air roll. Air is roll. The, <laughs> it's if you a were to do a roll in the air, that's what it's it would a Kong look front. Like. It's a Kong front, but it's a Kong front, but intended as like uh, a, a replacement for a shoulder roll to reduce impact. Now, if you look at the clips, 
Jared's body continues downward as, they la as he lands and kind of pushes forward into his air roll or conch front or whatever it is. Um, but if you watch Kidori, he kind of like bounces up out of it. So to me, that means Kidori had to absorb and then redirect impact and probably spent a little bit more time like on his legs or using his legs. Whereas Jared was able to push himself forward and continue his downward momentum. And I think that results in less impact. See, and I, I just disagree with the, I think you're making up this trajectory. I think they both, they let's both look at just it. go down. Let's look let's, at let's it. Let's look at it again, let's shall we? Again. When you play it back in real time, it's so fast. When, when Kadori hits that, that edge, it's just pop, right? He does have that little bit of lift, but the moment, my point is the momentum still carries forward. Thus, they're taking the same amount of impact. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. Objection. Okay, so, so uh, the way I think about it is, most of the time you take a large impact, especially if you're going forward, there's two strategies. You have shoulder roll, which is the standard, like, okay, I'm going to reduce this impact by pushing myself forward out of it, spread out the momentum, or spread out the impact, right? Um, the second, second version is a, a, Kong ver a Kong variation, so a gallop or like an actual Kong, so that you transfer your weight onto your hands and then you're back to your feet. And so you're taking that downward momentum, you're pushing it forward across and spreading out across time and space. So since they didn't have that, they have those two strategies that resulted, right? They're, they're not able to Kong and they're not able to actually roll. If I were to take a drop jumping forward where I had space to do that, the, the, basically my last strategy is going to be land with just my legs and jump forward out of it. That's going to be the last thing that I could possibly think of as a way to reduce my impact. All right, but, the, but I, I would much rather, I would seen? much rather, I would much rather roll or put my hands down like anybody else who does parkour, right? This is a much more softer impact than but, that is. But, but, but Kadori's got the mobility. He's able, to, he's able to fully compress into his landing and then spring forward. And, it, and it's just it's a split second of impact. That's what makes him incredible, though. That's what makes his feet more, more incredible in some ways. Is right? it because he's incredible or is it just because Jared Ludi is lacking the ankles? So we won't know unless Jared goes back and does it without doing the, the, the air roll. And then think, we can ask him which one I, felt I think better. We, I think we can do some, some experiments right here, here. Okay, so we got two examples. So one is I'm just going to take it, and then two, I feel like this is going to be harder, but maybe not. You're going to try to roll out of that? I'm going to try to roll out of it, yeah. That sounded softer. <laughs> that sounded, you, you heard sound. that. You didn't hear sound. that. Sound. Sounded softer. Did, how would it feel you're, like? You're making your argument on sound, really? Parkour, it's all about sound. It did feel a tiny bit softer on the second one. Okay. Yeah. This, may, this is maybe isn't- I don't want to try it, I don't want to try it again. So this is maybe isn't a perfect analogy because there's not enough forward momentum here. Okay, so we can, you, I mean, I'll try if you want to try this, this one over one. here. Ooh. Yeah, step on my phone, why don't yeah, you? Yeah, all right. Jeez. Okay, uh, which one first? Kind of right, I'm gonna try it, here. I'm gonna try to Kidori it. Um, okay, it's a good amount of impact. Let's see. Okay, but the difference, the difference, and this is, this is an important point. This is an important point. Okay. The difference between that example and my example and what Kadori does, we need to rewatch the tape again, is his buttocks makes contact with both of his heels when he hits that drop, <laughs> fully compressing, okay, and adding to again. the speed and trajectory of the landing out of it. I will try again. Hang on, we're gonna watch the tape again we're one more time just okay. to see this, right. to see if we can right. replicate okay. exactly what we're looking at here.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Are my knees warmed up for this bottom out? Yeah. Okay. You got a good, you got a better squat than I do. Okay. On, wait, wait, show, show, everybody, show everybody that squat first. There we go. Okay. All right. And on the toes. Yep. yep. I can touch. Mm -hmm. Get your chest to your knees. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> See, I almost feel like I need the drop to be bigger to bottom out. You need, you need the drop to be, yeah, that's like I, force you. I right, want to go from the rafters. Yeah. Is okay. All right. Well, I want to try, I want to try the, the Jared, the Jared version. The front? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was a lot of fun. So, <laughs> okay, so we're not we're, talking about which one's more fun. <laughs> if we're going on fun points or coolness factor, I'm going with Jared for sure. Um, if we're going on like manliness of the, taking the drop, I don't know, man. So this is Maybe something that like, like Kadori gets, uh, I think, commented on a lot, and he even like makes a joke out of it that he doesn't roll out of his landings and if he does roll, he's like look i did a roll or doesn't hey. even put his hands down right yeah. like capstone the big like drop that thing that he does and he goes like <laughs> <laughs> what the f michael <laughs> I, I think he has two things working for him. We'll, we'll say, say three things because people are like, oh, his legs and that. First of all, if you practice something long enough, you will get better at it. Like anyone who I've talked to that does drops, which I'm not recommending in this video, by the way, to do this sort of thing. But anyone I've talked to that, that does a lot of drops, they practice over time. Right? Yeah. And one thing to look at there too is like, well, out of the two guys, who does more drops? Yeah. Kadori does, no. <laughs> and it's why, it's why it, like, I don't, I mean, look at the look on his face. The look on his face when he, when he, when he takes it, it's like, ah, that, yeah, that felt fine. That was fun, that fun. yeah. That Either, great. so it's like, so are you trying to tell me that he has like the world's best poker face or <laughs> that he actually didn't feel anything or feel much impact when he did it? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, so first of all, I think one thing he has working for himself is he, he worked on drops for a long time. He has, he, if you go back through his IG clips and everything, way, way back, you're gonna see like progressively higher and higher drops, more impact being taken. And so you kind of get wired for it. Second thing, he does have some pretty good thighs. Yeah. Does have some pretty thick thighs. And then, of course, we talked about the mobility factor. I, well, I also think he's probably quite light. Yeah. Right? He's quite, so his, the amount of force, you know, going in, you know, compare, you know, if you compare a different athlete, like somebody who's like a bit more built, more, uh, more thick, I think there's, you know, they're going to take a lot more impact than somebody like him. He's got a smaller frame, so he's got a little bit less weight on him. But at the end of the day, who took less impact? We'll never know. I think Jared did. I think Jared ultimately took less impact. I thought the strategy that he used was super interesting because of the scenario it was, it was a very large drop with a, a, a wall that's too small to like put your hands or roll on. So I think I'm getting tired of doing this bit and disagreeing with you. <laughs> Are you starting to agree with me now? Did I, did I pull you over? when uh, Michael Kadori did his, his version of it. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I sent it to you and I was like, now we know, now we've seen yeah. it. Because that was the question of the day when, when Jared put out his clip was, did he need to do that? Yeah. Or could he have just bounced off? So did he need to? I don't know. Probably Maybe. not. But he, he, may, he, may, may, he may have needed to do it because, um, because, that, because he was worried about the impact. And because he was worried about the impact, he came up with a solution that would help him reduce the impact. That's the way I think about it. I'm gonna concede on this. If there's anything you wanna finish with in explaining what Jared did in that 
I just want to say props to both athletes. I thought it was so cool when Jared did it that, um, I mean, it prompted a discussion like this where we're talking about, you know, was there any value to doing that front flip, that air roll? Um, and ultimately, I think we've concluded that it may have reduced impact a bit, but ultimately, um, it's possible to do that without it. So thank you, Kadori, for, do, for showing us that it was indeed a possible to use just your legs for Also, I feel like in the comments, like there's going to be a bunch of people like really siding with Tom here. And I just want to say, for all of you naysayers out there, that rolls are not magic. You still feel things in your legs when you roll out of a jump. You still absorb the landing a little bit. And I don't know, try not doing it sometimes and see what happens. <laughs> the cool thing for me is Jared's technique, it opened up my mind to more possibilities of, you know, the con it, to me, it's like a, the perfect concept of parkour because like a lot, I mean, you know, we're seeing a lot of impact happening in the parkour world, especially with things like capstone and, and, uh, and the trends that are happening in parkour. But uh, one of the fundamental principles of parkour is reduction of impact, right? So even when we're doing a large jump, we should be thinking about ways to manage that impact in, that, um, in the forces. So... As a principle, reduction of impact in parkour is super important, and Jared found a way to incorporate a flip as a way to reduce impact. So it kind of goes back to, in my head, the old debate of parkour, what is parkour, is, you know, are flips parkour? And in this case, I think the flip was uniquely parkour, and I think that's super cool. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Leave us a comment. Who was right? Who took more or less impact on that drop? I'm gonna go elevate my knee and we'll see you in the next video. All right, I'm doing this another time because it was super fun.